A legend roams this land. A sorceress of world renown. Casting vast magical power. The strong fall to her. Not to mention the weak. Robber's Killer! Jet Black Sorceress! Dragon Spooker! Magic Freak! Miserly! Gutless! A Magic Virtuoso! Known by many names. You had better call her... Lena Inverse! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the world of Slayers for the Super Famicom. This is a game that's been on my bucket list for ages to get to playing because it's based on my uh, second favorite anime uh, franchise of all time. And so it's just been something I've been wanting to do for a really long time. Let's dive into it. Oops, who's that? I feel like oops isn't a uh, standard reaction to seeing somebody lying unconscious in the middle of a forest. Looks like someone has fainted on her way to the village, just lying there on the cold, damp ground. Doesn't look that damp. Hmm, interesting. We don't usually get unconscious ladies near our town. What? Could that be? Well, whoever this red-headed lass is, she obviously needs rest. I'll just drag her over to the inn and... Uh, uh, um... <laughs> maybe you should carry her. That guy doesn't seem to have a proper grasp of chivalry. Yup, no doubt about it. Yup, no doubt about it. Hey, just as I- just as you thought. I checked out her face. That's who she is, alright. That little gal is none other than the famous sorceress, Lena Inverse. Hmm, you don't say. What a coincidence! Do you suppose she can deal with the goblins and that frightening hydra that are terrorizing our village? Not out of the kindness of her heart, no. How do you propose we pay the bounty? Yep, we couldn't raise enough money around here to buy a three-legged watchdog. That means our homes... Blah, blah. That means our homes are doomed! Uh, what if someone were to lure her to the edge of that horrible goblin pit? She might sort of fall in accidentally. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this already. I'm not completely blind to this game. I have attempted playing it a couple times before, but that was ages ago, so I really don't remember anything about it other than it being a standard uh, turn-based RPG, uh, the likes of Dragon Quest and the likes. So uh, I'm glad to see they already, right off the bat, have the Slayer's humor down, it seems. This would force her to fight her way uh, back out. This would force her to fight her way back to the surface. Voila! Problem solved. Yes, it might just work, 
But when she returns, we'll suffer the consequences. At least these people know what they're getting into in dealing with Lena. Yup, I have a really bad feeling about this scheme. <sighs> but something must be done about those deadly monsters right now! Who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky. Perhaps the monsters and Lena v Inverse will eliminate each other. That's a really big if you're depending on. That way, we won't be forced to deal with either of them any longer, I hope. Good thing she's unconscious in bed or you'd already all be dead from that little speed from that little meeting of yours. Ah. So, you're finally awakened. Bleh, you've finally awakened. I'm reading terribly right now. You're Lena Inverse, right? Huh? Did you just refer to me as Lena Inverse? Don't play coy. Come. Follow me, please. I have something that I believe you must see right away. I can't do Lena's voice, so uh, any attempts will probably be terrible. So she's probably gonna have a horrible, scratchy, weird voice throughout this run. But what can you do? Why did you bring me over to this sinkhole or whatever you want to call it? Because this is near the spot where I found you. Will you take a peek inside there? Tell me if what you see is what I believe it is. Uh-oh. Excuse me, but I tripped. I didn't mean to bump into you like that. Sorry. Huh? I said I was sorry. Looks like both of us lost our balance. Perfect. Thud. The plan worked. Try to be more careful where you place your feet next time. Watch out for those ugly goblins creeping down, around down there too. And try not to get killed slaying all of the monsters in that filthy pit. I feel like that guy's acting is probably terrible. That's just kind of the impression I get from that. Ow! That really smarts! What the? Oh, Miss Lena! Uh, who are you? Who do you think I am? Come on, it's Connie! Who else? More importantly, the goblins are threatening the town and that's putting everyone on edge, including me! You aren't the only person around here who handles big problems, you know. Hold on a second. This isn't my problem, it's the village's worry. That's where you came from, right? It's your job, so don't try to involve me. I just want to clear out of here. Huh? What happened to... Where monsters rampage, I'm there to take them down. That's a great reference to the, uh... First season's opening uh, theme song. Why are you acting this way? Don't get mad at me. After all we've been through, how can you be so cruel? <laughs> I thought you would be happy to have me along. You're inhuman. Well, she's not wrong. A demon. Maybe an over-exaggeration, but I think the verdict is still out on that. Nothing but a devil in disguise! Okay, I don't think I need the text there to explain that, but... Sure. Okay, okay. First, some village oaf kicks me down a hole, and then you show up. But I get it anyway. You've made your point. Stop whining, huh? We'll look for a way out of this fix together, okay? Without giving you much of a choice in the matter, Connie joins your party. Now, despite their established relationship, I actually have no idea who Connie is. From what I looked into a very long time ago, she's a character who appeared in the books, which I've never read because uh, many of them uh, were never localized, so I just never got into uh, purchasing those that were. So, uh, 
Yeah, I don't know who she is. I've seen all the anime episodes and I've read some of the comics, but these are like the novel, the actual novels that she's from, from what I understand. Just giving us a little bit of a description. She seems like a decent character. I guess good attack. Her highest attack stat is defense, which is interesting. Don't expect her to become a top echelon trooper. Okay. I'll do that. She doesn't have any magic points, so she's our fighter for the time being. Gotta give us a fighter right off the bat since... Why is X search? And A is menu. This, okay, this is already really weird. Equipment. Okay. That all makes sense. Status, Lena. Higher attack and defense than Connie, despite being the magic user of the group. Can I use L and R to switch or, or left and right? Okay. Yeah, it looks like Lena is basically better at everything. Her speed is a little lower, as is her luck, but... And magic defense is higher, so she's just better. Of course. So here we go! As I said, this is basically a blind run. I have played this game before, but that was a long time ago. Honey acquired. So I don't remember much about it. Item one. Item two. Okay, that's probably key items. Lunchbox probably heals hit points. Honey, I'm gonna guess, heals either some status ailments or uh, uh, magic points. Here we go, our first battle against, I assume, goblins. This is a weird menu. I assume that's attack. Knack. Whack you with the javelin. What spells do we have? Flare arrow, freeze arrow, dillbrand, bramfang, recovery, and sleeping. It's not a terrible start. They can't obviously start us off with an entire arsenal of spells. Let's start off with the classic Flare Arrow! And that's one dead goblin. Lena and Connie look so similar. Connie, you keep whacking that guy. I have to wonder what the benefit of a sleep spell will be when Lena's attacks are so devastating, but we'll just have to wait and see. Freeze arrow! Maybe it won't come in handy at all, unless it can hit multiple enemies, but I doubt it. Let's try Dillbrand! All these spells are probably just as strong. It's just they give uh, their different elements, so maybe... Uh, There'll be, uh, vulnerabilities I'll have to deal with later on. Doesn't look like there's a run button. Game's a bit too old school for that. Alright, last attack spell. Bram Fang! Ow, he punched me. Why are they punching? They have hatchets. And rather large ones at that. It seems kind of unusual that they would be deciding to punch instead of chop. Connie's in trouble. Let's cast recovery. And now Lena's turn again. Okay. Let's see if sleeping... Okay, sleeping does hit all the enemies. So it'll come in handy in that sense. Assuming it has decent accuracy. We'll just have to... You know what? Yeah, attack. I was thinking about defending since she probably wouldn't uh, finish things up anyway. Level up. They don't show me my stat increases. That's disappointing. She got faster. The other thing else looks like it changed. And uh, she got more luck. And attack and magic defense. And then there's of course hit points and magic 
Looks like you heal when you uh, level up, so I don't have to worry about conserving magic points, at least at this point. There's got to be a, a way in there. Here we go. I have to remember that X searches Cure Poison. At least that item is, uh, name is, uh, self-descriptive. Let's try sleeping. Let's see how accurate this is. I would assume it would say miss if it didn't work, so, uh, we're good. Wow, critical hits make a huge difference. What's this? Okay, this is like an AI thing, so if I don't want to control the characters, I can just kind of tell them to do whatever. Knife! Alright, the knife is enough. I don't even need to worry too much about that. Okay, so the game doesn't tell me when the enemies wake up. Maybe it's just like one round. And then they wake up. The fact that sleep hits all the enemies, though, means it probably will come in handy, and it doesn't cost very many magic points. So later on, it might also be useful for uh, magic conservation once level ups become a bit more spread out. There's somebody down there. Let's just clear out these kobolds real quick, and then we can go check out that guy. Sleep. Freeze arrow! It's weird seeing Lena not start with fireball since that's such a classic spell of hers, but it also kind of makes sense that that would come a bit later. There's stairs, and here's a guy. Let's talk to the guy first. Hello. Hold up, I gotta clear out these uh, goblins that you were just chilling with. Stab! Wow, I'm getting a lot stronger really fast. Cut! I don't even need magic to deal with these guys. It's interesting how the game is counting the number of battles I've cleared. Hello, good sir. Lady. My job is keeping records of your deeds. I shall make a journal entry now. Yes. Super! Choose a journal entry. This one, Volrun Cave. I wrote it down precisely. Would you care to see it? Um, yeah. What does that mean? Oh, interesting. Lena used her spells against weak enemies today. One day, something may sneak be may sneak up behind her and stab Lena in the back. That's a fun feature. I like that. Do you intend to continue travels at this time? Yes. Okay, so saving in this game is a girl named Mina writing in her journal about the exploits of our adventure. That's... different. It's an interesting way to make saving canon, I guess. Go to sleep, fools, and then die. Speaking of stabbing in the back, I'm just jabbing a javelin into these guys' heads while they're asleep. Lena would be okay with this. Although she doesn't use sleeping very often, at least in the anime, I think she only uses that spell once throughout all five seasons and however many movies there are. I'm not being able to... I'm not thinking off the top of my head exactly how many films or OVAs they were, but through all of that, I believe she only uses the sleeping spell once. The other spells on her list right now are a bit more common. I'm going to assume Bram Fang is supposed to be... Uh, uh, Blam Blazer, but maybe they, uh, but maybe the people who are translating it just didn't figure that from, based on the source material. You found 20 gold. But, or maybe it actually is Bram Fang. I don't recall that spell ever coming up in the anime, but as Connie is evidence of, this game takes its source material more from the books, I believe, than, uh, from the cartoon. More evidence of that would be Lena's outfit, which I think is more from the books and comics than in and the movies. 
than it is from the animated series. Deeper into the cave we go, just killing goblins and other stuff we run into. It's early in the game, so there's really not a whole lot going on. It starts a little bit more interesting, arguably, than other RPGs, be just because uh, you start with a sleep spell. That kind of stuff generally doesn't come into games until later on. It's it's reliable too, I'm liking that. I like using status effect spells and buffs and debuffs and the like. I enjoy using that kind of stuff as opposed to just attacking aggressively. So I'm hoping that spell will continue to be reliable as we go through the game. And maybe I'll get some other useful spells like that as well. It doesn't last very long, though. It seems to only last about a turn. But the fact that it hits all the enemies still makes it an efficient uh, spell to uh, fight with. Because I haven't seen it miss once, but that could just be because we're early on. It's very likely that when we get further into the game, uh, the sleep spell's accuracy will diminish. Enemies will likely become more resistant to it. Not only that, but... When I'm further in the game, I will probably have uh, group attacks that actually hit all the enemies. And if I can just wipe the enemies out in one shot, then uh, putting them to sleep won't be as useful anymore as it is now. It's nice here because I can stop the enemies from attacking as often, uh, thus conserving my... Uh, hit points. When Lena takes damage, she doesn't give uh, the face of being hurt. She just... She just looks annoyed or disappointed or perhaps even just kind of bored. Like, ugh. You just pun- uh, Like, just- uh, I just got punched. How obnoxious. Hey, will you get a load of that? Check out that lewd getup that girl is wearing. Oh my god, it's Naga. Hmm. Some people just have no appreciation for fashion statements. I'm fighting Naga? Naga is the first boss. See, now you can tell already that... Something's up, because Lita had nothing to say about Naga. Can I put Naga to sleep? Okay, at least I confirmed that there's a... Well, that was expectedly easy. Ow, ow, that hurts! Huh? Is that you, Lena? What are you doing here? Lena came with me to get help... S Lena came with me to help save the village from goblins. Who the heck are you? Well, I got lost here. Next thing I knew, I was the leader of the goblins. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Called it. Good one. Yes. Of course, they gotta animate that. Yeah. How could you allow such a thing to happen? You being human and all. I mean, seriously. Aw, oh, this place is creepy. Come on, Miss Lena. Let's get out of here. Or, let's blow out of here. Hmm. Well, it just so happens that I'm tired of this stinky pit anyway. So I shall accompany you. Or there. I am just... I'm not being able to read today. So I shall allow you to accompany me. Without waiting for an invitation, Naga joined your party. And just the fact that she's so overpowered is obviously evidence that she's a temporary ca She can't even level up. I wonder if that means that level 20 is actually the max level in this game, or if they just decided to have her be at 20 and that's that. I do remember, though, from playing this game before, that she's controlled, I believe, automatically by the AI, so I have no uh, power over uh, what she does in combat. But that's just what it is. Just let this text go by. I 
I would be reading it, but I feel like it would be awkward to just start reading it from the from the middle. So I need to try to remember though when people join that that text shows up and I should probably go through it. But whatever. Oh, I can press that button to see her spells. Flare arrow, fireball, freeze arrow, freeze bullet, dillbrand, megabrand, bramfang. Is that it? Oh. Arrow bomb, Elmikia lance. Bram, okay, so Bram Blazer is in this game as a different spell. Bomb spread. Damn Bros, Recovery, Declary, I assume that's a status healer sleeping, Buzzard Wing, DM Wing, Dark Mist. Not bad. It was weirdly uh, chugging though when I was looking at the spells. The villagers hired you two to eliminate the goblins, right? Uh, sort of. Well, since we solved the problem, shouldn't we get a reward of some kind now? What do you mean, we solved the problem? Hey, don't sweat the small stuff. Come on, let's go hunt down the village chief. Just like Naga, hello. Can I just, yeah. I couldn't help overhearing. Say, would you kill the Hydra that lives on top of the mountain next? Uh, well... It would really help. It would really help us out a lot. Just a thought, okay? Hello. My papa said it's dangerous down in that hole and not to let anyone near it. But there's a lady down there just chilling, uh, writing journals about people. So it can't be that bad. Tragedy. Honey acquired. You didn't find anything. You didn't find anything. What? Okay. Hello. The goblins were bad enough, but the monsters coming down from the mountain, well, quite frankly, they scare me to death. Oh, that's a person. For a second, I thought it was a sheep. All we can do now is say we're sorry. We didn't want to see you get hurt. Yeah, of course he didn't. I know that meeting you had. The nearest town is called Johannes. It's not very far from here. Wow, lady, you're really strong. Of course I am. You have our heartfelt thanks. That's not money. Lena's not gonna accept that as a reward. Heartfelt thanks? That's not gonna put food on her table. You'll get a fireball to the face and lose your house if you think she'll accept that as a reward. Onward to find money. Ooh, a shop. Someone told me the mountain is honeycombed with dark, scary caves. That sounds like it'll be an annoying dungeon. I don't need to go to the inn. Really, we didn't want to see you harmed, so please don't destroy our homes. That depends on how much money you're gonna give me. So, I got rid of the goblins for you. Where's the payoff? Oh, come on. You tricked me! That go, That gopher of... Gopher... Uh, that gopher of yours knocked me down that stinking hole, so... You'd better pay up before we get mad! The village chief finally coughed up 300 gold for your time and trouble. Yeah! Money! Give me more money. That's all the money we have, girls. Why should we give it all... Why should we give you any... Why should we give you all of it anyway? Why do you think? Because the repercussions of not doing so would be far more devastating and expensive. Look, you have bled us dry. Besides, why should we allow you to bankrupt our town? I just explained why. You're worse than the frickin' goblins. Well, that's your fault for hiring Lena, especially since Naga just happened to get involved as well. I've been thinking, Lena. Somehow you don't seem your normal self anymore. You've always been an ill-tempered, magic freak show type of girl. What's with you these days anyway? Also, you haven't blown me up with a fireball yet. Well, whatever. Ah, <sighs> I know you're here for a reason. Something evil is behind all of this trouble. In the meantime, we should try to raise some more money. Let's travel around the countryside and see what we can scare up. Maybe we'll even run into 
Taku Taku! Who the hell is Taku Taku? Let's check out the shops. With that money. They might make some of their money back if they have good stuff for me. Welcome to the shop. What will you purchase? Paralyze your coin. Honey. Cure stun. What does honey do? I wouldn't imagine it heals magic points if it only costs two. Appreciate you dropping by. I'm gonna go check out the equipment shop first. See if I can get any stuff there before worrying about spending money on items. Welcome to my store. What's your pleasure? Um, let's see. Arms. Knife. Spike knuckle. Gladius. That's probably better for Lena. This stuff is really cheap. What all do I have equipped? Because this isn't sh giving me any information. Uh, that's a solid uh, extra 10 attack points. It drops my luck, but I don't know what luck does. You know what? I think we're just gonna call it here. Uh, Next time, we'll get back to this game uh, once I've bought all my stuff. I don't know if this is going to be a... I don't know if I'm going to be beating this game because I have no idea how long it's going to last. Nor do I know how long I'll be able to maintain interesting commentary. This episode alone wasn't particularly thrilling. So we're just going to have to see how things go. So, next time, we'll head wherever we need to head, either the mountains or Johannes. Wait, stuff's happening in here. Maybe we'll get information before we end this episode off. Actually, I've lost my memory. You don't say. Nom, nom. Yo, Pops, bring me some more eats over here. Yeah, hit me again, too. Um, you're the ones who cleaned the goblins out of that smelly old pit, aren't you? No one had to ask you to do it either, right? Hey, don't be modest. I have something else I wish to discuss with you, but... Hey, don't look at me that way. I said it was a request this time, didn't I? Well, alright. Thank you. Lately, this cowardly town of ours has become fearful of a large hydra that lives on top of the mountain. Will you go kill it? If you do, I'll let you eat all you want here free of charge. This man just doomed his entire career. He has no idea the implications of what he just promised. No way! I won't do such a thing without a proper reward! Did you say as much food as I want? <laughs> yeah, I'll bite. Hold on, Lena. Sorry, but I must decline his offer. Suit yourself. I'll just have to tackle this job all by myself. Way to go, Lena! Helping citizens in distress, I'm deeply touched by your gesture. So, it turns out that Ms. Lena is actually a good-hearted person, right? Yes, you may count me in. It has nothing to do with being good-hearted, really? Exactly how did you view me before? Well, well, at any rate, thank you, ladies. So I guess Naga is uh, leaving us already. Good thing I didn't buy any equipment for her. I wasn't going to anyway because she's so overpowered. I'm your angel in white. If you aren't feeling well, you should consult the doctor. I'm the local doctor. Do you require my services? Sure. Um, whatever was ailing you seems to be cured now. You have a clean bill of health at the moment, but come back anytime you need medical treatment. That's interesting. Munch, munch. Munch, 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 munch. Are you sorry you stopped to talk to me? Yes, I am. Ah, that was mighty tasty. Well, Mama always says, well, Mama always said to chew my food thoroughly before swallowing. That sure was thorough. Woohoo! 
It's quite mellow and smooth and as fresh as a Julie, July buttercup. Did I mention the flavor and aroma? Makes me want to learn how to play the tuba by Oktoberfest. Oompa, oompa. Then they just start drinking, uh, singing about whatever. Have a seat, drink your filler or er, fill, and pound the beat on them their bongo drums for a while. Yep, we'll get ourselves some real knee slapping down home wild billy, I mean hillbilly music going. What's my problem? I ain't got no problem. You gobbled up them goblins, didn't ya? Come on, ladies, have a seat. I'll treat you real good. And then he died. Hello. Well, well, at any rate. Thank you, ladies. Ah, chef's recommendation, I suggest you try our shortcake. Unless we're all out of it. Eh, I'm good. What's the matter? Can't you make up your mind? Would you care for something different? Uh, sure. Uh, okay, I, I thought I was thinking maybe that would bring up more options or something. I'm good. I don't know what benefits that has. Welcome to the end. Our fee is 10 gold. I don't need to rest. I uh, seem to heal when I level up and uh, leveling up is frequent at this point, it seems. Let's save. And let's see what she had to write down. Lena, okay, this is the same thing as before. I'll be curious to see how that evolves as we go. For now, though, if you enjoyed the episode, be, for, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As I was trying to get into before, I don't know if this will be a complete run of the game. I have no idea how long this game is or how long it will stay interesting to record or watch. But for now, thanks for watching.